Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Don't Starve. It's been a long time coming. I've really wanted to play this game. In fact, I've been honestly playing this game for forever now. And, you know, I really probably should be playing Honkai Impact to finish up the story, but <laughs> I can't bring myself to not play this game. Uh, let's start from scratch. As you can probably notice, I, I'm, I'm a pretty regular of this game, but despite having so much <laughs> hours in it, I'm still pretty bad. If anyone would love to oh, oops, backseat game for this game, uh, no worries, go ahead. I could use some guidance. Yes, I need the guidance for, essentially, <laughs> um, most of the games I play. Usually I play the single player version of Don't Starve, the original. So the ocean isn't exactly an accessible place, but it's always jarring to see it not the wavy texture that it was playing single player I am using a few mods I was going to play it vanilla but I forgot to turn this one off I've been using the minimap mod for so long that it kind of became second nature to use it for me Shit, I forgot the button for attack. <laughs> okay, there you go. It's F, of course. F for fighting. I have it as um, the middle mouse button on my single player server. I guess, uh, what do we even count as a server? Single player save file. That's lucky. No idea how to play this new version of Don't Start Together as well. Starting back up from Ground Zero with Wilson. I mean, despite having played a few hours, I say it's from Ground Zero because <laughs> I basically always use mods and that makes the game incredibly easy. Here, I just closed the minimap. <laughs> basically, vanilla now. Although I don't think these, the health stats are usually there in vanilla, is it? Oh well. Minor handicaps. And speaking of which, for Don't Starve Together, is there endgame? <laughs> is there an endgame to this game mod? I know there is in single player, right? You go to the Shadow Throne. And that's where the game ends, but I don't think I remember one for this version. Maybe an end game haven't been out yet. I do remember when I first played this game that it was absolutely horrifying. <sighs> the tiniest shadow was so scary. And by God, when the insanity was added on this thing, I stopped playing for a good long while. But I got back into it. <laughs> Yes, one should <laughs> for games like this. Mm -hmm. 
I usually take Disconnected for a second there. It's weird. Never happened before. My god, you have a lot of health. Oh, okay, there you go. Whew. Maybe it's because I'm not using a spear. <laughs> Probably wasn't the brightest plan to take on a. What were they called? I don't know. Mechanical horses. With just an axe. Oh, well, that's okay. We made it out of Right now, our primary goal is to uh, find gold. We need gold, and also that's a brick road. We're probably near picking. Let's follow it for now. We have no idea where we can get gold, anyways. Not at the moment, anyway. There's a horse. Horse head piece. No, <laughs> why is their eyes glowing? Oh, I've never seen the tree's eyes glow like that before. It's pretty interesting. Wait, well, we made it to some sort of pig village. Is there a pig king here, though? Sometimes pig villages don't have a pig king. Just stand next to this jack o' lantern to. Yeah, I think this one doesn't have a pig king. Great. <laughs> Save our torch. We don't need to eat yet, so the. Well, you know, just very. They rot so fast. We have a campfire, but I prefer to use it when we absolutely have to. It's more as an emergency. I start picking flowers on like the second or third day. That way I recover some sanity and you use the flower petals for rot, which is what I usually do because you know, they, they rot fast and they're plentiful. You might have seen video tutorials about not picking them because they spawn butterflies and stuff, but honestly, flowers regenerate, especially close to like, oh, that's the uh, terraria crossover chest. I'm not touching that <laughs> until I'm well ready for battle. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, thank you, thank you. You can see the uh, artist and the rigger on my description. She's fantastic. She also made uh, quite a few versions that's free to use. So if you want to check her out, you can go to the link in my description. Yeah, thank you for the compliments, of course. Still setting up emotes. I'm sorry if there's a lack of it. Oh, it's rock. <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing, and the process is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, uh, I used to be good at drawing, but, you know, life gets in the way, as all things do. Mm -hmm. Slow but steady, as it will go. Let's get a few more rocks before I go over there. Make a science machine. 
Well, I consider myself decent, but I would not say I'm good at the game. I'm well enough where I could survive the first, maybe second winter. <laughs> and I usually lure the bosses to the swamp to kill them off. Not the worst, but most definitely not the best. Are you a veteran in this game, Nihilist? If so, please give me guidance. <laughs> I could probably use it. I've played this game for many hours, but I'm still not an expert at it. That's okay, Nihilist. This is a very interesting, but... Oops. Kind of a mentally draining game, almost. Hmm. Where is it? All the icons changed in comparison to single-player models. Weirding me out. See what else do I need? I should probably build a good okay, we don't have enough logs. That's fine. Let's make a science machine here. We don't have enough chair, but we'll gather it as we go. Oh thank you. Thank you, my friend. Happy to have you on board. Gathering a bit more gold. Some ponies. The only thing I've learned so far for myself in this game is that your stomach is the best storage. As soon as you can eat without wasting any food, you should absolutely eat because I've lost count amount of times when I try to save food and days end up rotting in my backpack. Oh, I have an axe. There we go. Oh, spiders! Oh wow, that's a pretty, pretty crowded area. Full of spiders. And also I see a few more gold up there too. We're gonna need uh, we can make two planks right now, so we need about 16 logs. I can't resist the gold, <laughs> it's calling me, and I'm greedy, and it's shiny. I like shiny things. I don't like these spiders though. That's gross. Let's see, where are we? Okay, let's go on down. Unfortunately, the little patch of forest we have here is full of ungrown trees, but we can still get some out of it. Two, three, 
Maybe one more. You can't chop if it's dark, bro? Oh, I almost died. Wilson, come on. Legit can't chop wood when you... Okay. Alright, Wilson, you win. You just stand there all night, okay? Until it's daytime. <laughs> Thank you, Nihilus. That is indeed how I live. In game and in life. It's fantastic. Heart-stopping action all day. Oh, that's smart. Oh, no, it's okay. It's already daytime. I should have done that. It's a better idea than what I had. Yeah, okay. Well, at least we can use it as rot. <laughs> okay, let's chop down one more tree. And then we're gonna have enough to make our advanced science machine. And a bit more for cushion. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. I guess we'll just follow the edge of that that side of the map. Also, I'm very happy that we started in autumn. I did not check what season this world was going to spawn in. If it spawned in spring, I was literally going to go insane. Uh. Oh, what? Okay. What a. Hmm. I guess that's an island. Okay, let's go back. Doesn't look like this will lead to that part of the world. At least we got early gears. Probably try to find another horseman if we see it. <laughs> the Halloween event is still on. Lots of decorations and um, candies strewed about. The candies are sort of interesting to use, I guess. I don't know if you can do anything with them, but I usually just eat them all. Mm. Should I get some? No, we can just get spider webs later. It's okay. I don't need spider webs right now. What a confusing island. I guess this is not connected. When the world is it connected to? <laughs> Let me connect further up. Yeah, looks like it's maybe Dragonfly Desert. No, oh, this is the Poison Bee section. Oh no. It's okay, they'll, they'll lose interest real quick. <laughs> are stingers really only good for blow dots? I would assume they are, because that's the only use I found for them. Not very useful considering how much you get from killing bees. 
get a ton of blow darts from killing these. Well, not blow darts, but stairs. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Booster shots. Well, I guess probably because I always play alone and I never found <laughs> that use for it. Okay, I'll keep that in mind though. Booster shots. I believe that's for when you die, you res resurrect, and you don't have all your health, yes? That's probably it. Lobsters. I wonder if they make for a good food source. I always see them, but I never really use them. Okay, yeah, that's what this is connected to. What a weird layout. Nihilist, what would be your ideal base locations? Myself, I would usually be somewhere between like Safari and Peking. You know, Peking for gold and Safari because rabbits and sometimes buffaloes. It's preferable if the Safari have buffaloes, but it's not guaranteed, unfortunately. They don't produce too much protection, but they do provide a good source of wool. <laughs> Alright, I think that part's just gonna be desert. <laughs> but let's map it out anyways. Just in case this weirdly generated world have other surprises hidden up there. This is a large killer bee island, my goodness. <laughs> mm. Oh, I guess this isn't the dragonfly desert. I think the dragonfly desert has round cactuses. Yeah, that is true. I heard the Oasis is an especially good place to build because you don't overheat during the summer, which is fantastic, but... I don't know. It seems kind of small to me. Maybe it's just me, though. I could probably give it a try. Almost done with this part already. Yeah, here is the oasis. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, a free hat too. Yeah. Oh wow, where? Where in the world did you guys come from? No. I don't care. Let's cook these. Oh, well, I guess there isn't much to do in the desert during the summer, huh? Isn't there usually a storm there? I'm not too sure, though. I do know that uh, being in the caves during summer is the best, but <laughs> admittedly, I never usually make it that far and don't starve together. Oh no, it's too far from the light. Okay. Uh oh. I guess. These little swamp monsters won and then pig didn't. But we can also go in and collect our meats. They have the weirdest spawn sets, man. 
There isn't even a swamp house. What are you guys doing here? Look at you. Smell fishy. Yuck. And toppers. I love toppers, but they hate me. And I'm very sad about it. I love birds in real life. I own two little budgies. Oh, repeats. Okay. Cut through that then. We don't have to follow the routes. The edge. Yeah, we've definitely been there. That's from us. Oh, what about the golden bell? I did see it, but I don't know if it does anything, so I didn't pick it up. Is it important? <sighs> oh! Okay, okay. Alright, I'll go back and grab it real quick then. We have our- oh, never mind. The road's blocked by spiders. <laughs> okay. I will unlock a minigame. I didn't know that was a thing. I was about to say, I've never seen a doodad like that before. Let's see, I think we left it somewhere back here. Yeah, there it is. Gold bell, it looks important. And many game points. Go away. No. They're not hard to fight, but they're still annoying, and I don't want to fight them. Alright, on our journey to finding the picking and mapping out the map. <laughs> No, I actually really like playing Wendy because I don't have to fight and I just let Abigail do all the fighting. But the new update, uh, too confusing for me, man. <laughs> I like the classic version and the single player don't starve where it's very simple. Oh, hello there. Yeah, but, and, and together, you got so much steps, you gotta, you gotta level up Abigail and stuff, and I'm like, I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll give it a try in the future, because I know that Wilson's got like a skill tree now, and that's definitely something that, uh, oh, whoops, I almost ate the pig butts. You know, skill tree, so I'm gonna learn how to do that too. But, I mean, I played RPGs before, so I'm assuming it won't be as difficult as um, Wendy's systems. It's a little heart shape, heart shape pond. Mm. Interesting. What is this? Uh. Yeah. Feels too staged. Act one, scene one. Long ago, in a land oh so far away, a strange music filled the air, and a porcelain dog came to life. Ah, <laughs> says Wilson. I can move my hands and my feet too. Is this what it's like to be alive? Oh, what a big world it is to be alive in. There are so many things I've never done. So many things I've never seen. I must explore every last bit of it. The thought of a startling new life. 
Oh, filled the doll's heart with joy. This is going too fast. I can't read that fast. And everyone shared the same sentiments. You don't see talent like that every day, thankfully. Duh, rude. Wilson's acting is fine. <gasps> There's two. Oh my god, it keeps going. Now we have time. Something's off. They're going off script. I didn't come for improv. We're out. No. Come back. Oh. The blacks. I wonder if you need different characters to play in different scenes. But who would be the blacksmith? <laughs> so, uh, this is Wilson the porcelain doll, I guess. <laughs> Fragile as porcelain Wilson. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any other players with me right now, so... Yeah, can't, uh, do act two or scene two. Interesting though. I've seen the set piece, but I've never interacted with it before until now. And lots of frog puns. And I think this one is almost certainly going to lead to the pig king. Because the other one didn't. Oh, yep, absolutely. Hello! Hello, Peking. <laughs> Don't say that, Wilson. That's rude. Alright, here. Yeah. Let's set cap. And also, free pumpkins because Halloween event. Let's see. You can eat a few mushrooms. There we go. I remember pumpkins healing a lot, so yeah, it filled us up. Let's see, let's see. Not a bad place to camp, but I'm gonna check out the safari area and see if there's, um, <laughs> buffaloes. If there is, I'm probably gonna set up camp here or next to the pig king although i don't like how close it is to the set piece maybe maybe i'll go further in this is an endless world so there's not really much of a fear of losing it and if you want to join it is uh called Distinct Lack of Strawberries. <laughs> uh, they should really add strawberries to the game. They have red berries already. They're just missing one more step. Oh, grown up beer, Wilson. No worries. Oh, right, right, right. The golden belts. Oh, goodness. I brought it over and I forgot to give it to the picking. What kind of mini game is it gonna be? Where are you? There you are. So many pumpkins and keep me fed for the first half of autumn, at least. There you go. Picking. Whoa. What is this? What's- Oh, I see. Ow! Excuse me? Ow, ow. Ow. Cry 
is stun lighting. But it's <gasps> so rude. You just. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> I am not good. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I don't even have any gold. <laughs> Jesus! Wilson. Wilson is not doing good. <laughs> this is bullying. This is straight up bullying. <sighs> oh, don't worry about it. I get gold very easily. <laughs> Oh man. Oh wow, so I guess the bell is a one time use, looks like. I guess we'll get more, um. <laughs> so, random boot drops? Did I just see. Ah, oh, no, it was. Oh, wait, yes, I did! There he is. Okay. We know where the little buzz buzz is located. <laughs> What an interesting mini game that I like. And it's like hungry, hungry hippos, but with very violent sign throwing pigs. Needs my science. <sighs> you know, when I first discovered Don't Starve, it was actually from Deviant Art. <laughs> Saw fan art of it there on that website and decided, oh, what an interesting character. I wonder what the story for him is. Played the game, and then noticed that there was a pretty distinct lack of story. Until I watched some YouTube videos about the intense, very intense lore drops and subtle hints of this world. Honestly, kind of insane, because I don't think I would found any of the clues that those YouTubers, you know, found and made a piece together the lore of Don't Starve. I thought this story originally was about a man who decided to, you know, they maybe he just wanted to go camping. And then they got lost, and now we have to help him survive, and that was the story. <laughs> Uh, clearly not. <laughs> Doesn't look like he was here very willing. Oh my goodness! Holy pumpkins. Well, they're all gonna rot before we finish eating it. <laughs> even the ones in our inventory is rotten already. Well, let's take a jack-o'-lantern. That way we won't have to build a fire today. Or use up our torches. Although we can probably set a forest or two on fire to get some charcoal. Maybe not, though. We don't really need charcoal right now. And charcoal's pretty easy to get, so... Can always get later. Explode a good chunk of it. Oh right, I was gonna explore the safari. Yeah, I keep getting sidetracked. I have a memory of a goldfish. Probably one of my worst qualities, unfortunately. Hmm. 
Hello, Mr. Beefalos. You guys here? Okay, this is a very small safari. They're probably not here. My God. <laughs> five points road. Okay, they're definitely not here. <laughs> Maybe somewhere else then. Toy Cobra. Oh my God. Topperts. I'm so tempted to steal their eggs, but I don't have good armor and I don't have a spear. Best not. <laughs> Tempting though. And mini set piece. Nothing too useful. I need to constantly check the map just in case I'm walking backwards because sometimes I tend to do that. I guess we can just eat the pumpkins raw since there's so much of it anyways and not much point in cooking it. Right, let's set down our jack-o'-lantern of a raw pumpkin dinner. Mm. I have a sleep. And don't start together, you can actually watch Wilson sleep. Cause, you know, it's not paused. And you can't skip time with other players with you. Even though there isn't any players in this world other than myself right now. And I've learned the hard way a few times before that the bedroom is still single use, even though it's not an instant use, so better to lay on it for as long as you can before getting up, otherwise you won't be getting the max use out of it. Yep, there you go. It's gone. What in the world is that? Insight gain? What is- what is insight? Torches last a little longer. Torches are a little brighter. Transform three twigs into a log, or transform a log into two twigs. High insulation from your beard. Your Ming Sphinx beard will grow a little faster. Oh my god. I do know one of this. I remember that you can store food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can store food in your beard if you upgrade this skill uh, high enough. Nooner and Shadow Affinity. Okay. <sighs> That's a hard choice. Uses a scientifically formage to always land right side up. Oh, right, you can throw torches. I have no idea what button it is to throw it, though. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's, let's go for a beard for now. Lights, not really an um, issue. Okay, let's pick up our jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> I love you, Wilson. You're a silly little man. <laughs> Absolutely. It is his ultimate ability. Food beard. Or beard food. Oh, there's another one of those. <laughs> well, we got some butterfly wings. You know what, no, we don't have a spear. Oh, it's one of those, okay. Let's just watch out. Slide right past you, mister. You didn't see me, you didn't see nothing. Let's see. 
think we're almost done exploring the map. And there's a few more, but they don't seem too important. We got the swamp, I think, yeah. Well, I saw the edge of the swamp, but I didn't go in. Or wait, no. It was a mini swamp that we found. We haven't found a large swamp yet, okay. Oh, it's probably on this side somewhere then. Or over there. This is a much bigger map than I thought it was gonna be. My goodness. I think Don't Starve Together maps are bigger than single players, aren't they? Oh, there's finally a carrot. I don't think I've seen much of them. Water is so calm and don't starve together. Oh, uh oh. Stream go down? That's not good. Hmm. It's a blank screen. I don't know if you can see this now. List. Maybe it's just on my part. Let me try refreshing the page real quick. Okay, there you go. I can see myself again. <laughs> but yeah, the worlds are 100% bigger. Yeah. Well, maybe not twice as big, but at least 1.5%. 1 1.5 times, not percents. Well, 1%, you would barely notice. <laughs> I would barely know this. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that side's done. This side it is. Mm. This dude. Other than armor, we don't really need marble for much else, and. I don't really like that. It slows us down when we're more marble suits, so we won't be getting that until probably when we go down to the undergrounds, if I make it that far. <laughs> Ooh, gold. Shiny, shiny. I wonder if ghosts attacks tall birds. They're so close to this gravesite. I had to check it out during a hollow night. Or a full moon. And track. It's okay. We don't need food right now. Got so many in autumn. A season for harvest. I wanted to keep the playthrough as vanilla as possible, but I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> I turned off the, I think, multiplayer mods, but the client mod, I forgot to turn it off or even take a look at it. Oh well. okay. This Wilson just has fantastic geographic memories. You can see his world like there's a mini-map in front of him. <laughs> you know, the only plot point or even storyline I find- oh, too much for it. Interesting. But don't starve is 
think in one of the short films. I forgot what it is. I think it's Maxwell's short film. We see that Wilson doesn't really hold a grudge against Maxwell, man. Like, I don't know about you, Wilson, but if I saw my capture getting thrown to constant with me after what he put me through, I'm gonna beat the shite out of him, man. Like, Wilson's over there lending him a hand to get up, and I'm like, no, Wilson, don't give him a hand. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Free spear. <laughs> Too much stuff to hold. And I know, right? And Wilson's over here. Oh, buffaloes. Buffalo, buffalo. Two clans of buffalo. One, two, three. Mm, I guess that's true. I guess when your enemy is in the same situation as you are, you probably get along with them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Got about eight in total. Eight beefillos. Oh. Slim Nike Rock. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it's turning night time. Oh no. Um. Ooh, I almost died. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, my, my model turned back to default when I pressed the uh, quick button. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the link to the, um, uh, what is it called? The artist, yes, and the rigger for this model. <laughs> yeah, check them out so if you want to. That's their name and that's their rank. <laughs> that's Shites Wilson. I'm gonna cook them. I like how Wilson is so dramatic when he eats a big meal, he has to hold out both his hands to show you how big of a portion he just ate. Hmm. Uh, why do you set faces? Okay. I got the shock of my life when I first saw it. Well, when I first, uh, <laughs> you know, opened the chest. I'm surprised this, like, don't starve to care, so have that set piece. And that, yeah. Quick button, it just pops right back to defaults. For the model. That's how she promotes. <laughs> it is good. I actually seen quite a few um, starter VTubers use this model as well. I don't know if you've seen them, but they're around every once in a while. But maybe one day I'll save up enough money or gain enough skills to um, make my own VTuber. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. I'm honored to be one of your first uh, nihilist. Welcome to the VTuber cult. <laughs> I'm not in any. Oh, the <clears throat> hands are bound. That's okay. It's only one or two I can do with that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about my name. <laughs> it's, it's a name from elementary and I just never bothered to change it. <laughs> mm. 
Yes, yes. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. I need to be careful though. The game's not paused anymore. Okay. Let's go straight forward and explore the past stage grounds. I did hear that was it's the hams. I forgot I was full of flints. Don't need it no more. Yeah, Topper territory. <laughs> Maybe I should lure them here. But it's okay. It's only gonna be one hound and it's more a waste of time to wait for them here. Use it to explore instead. Is this a trick or treater? I mean, eat all your candy. And colorful buttons. Here, you can have the monster meat. I want your buttons instead. Fair trade. Twiggy worlds too much, but they're not too bad. I'm basically a pack rat, as you can probably see. So <clears throat> even grass iguanas with worlds like that, I can perfectly deal with. Great stage hand. Probably one of the more terrifying creatures of this constant, the stagehand. <laughs> have you ever been attacked by it before? <laughs> I don't think I have, well, except for one time. It's another buffalo clan. There's a small one though. Oh wait, maybe not. I see another spot of poo. Mm, this is a forest. We should probably burn it down. It'd be a good place to get charcoal. <laughs> and we need to clear up some inventory space anyways. No need to hold on to two torches at the same time. Absolutely. It follows you, and I believe when your fire gets too low, it comes close to you and give you a little nick. <laughs> it got like little spider legs. Because usually when, yeah, when I put out a fire and it's really low, I don't bother to refuel it since it's gonna turn day anyways. But that's when the, you know, light gets too low and then uh, it attracts the stage hand. Hmm. I hope that's not too close to the pig house. If so, sorry little 
pegging might have made you homeless. <laughs> Ouch. should be more than enough for us to live off on. X. Don't, don't look, pig. Your house is burning down. Yeah, the burning animation is a lot slower and don't start together. Maybe it's to give players a uh, time to run away. Yeah, I think it's gonna burn. Let's see if we can salvage the pig skins. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry, Pigo. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to burn your house down. Hope you find another one soon. Ah, you know, that makes a lot of sense. It's fine by us, though. We're still traveling. Got no base so far. Alright, let's collect a full stack. Which is 40 charcoals. Right, I don't want to chop it down to somewhere still burning because sometimes it burns up the charcoal. I don't want you. Get out of here, plants. I'm deforesting. I ain't reforesting. Okay, you win. Please stop bothering me. Ah! Don't burn me. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, there you go. Full stack. Small, dark, and smells like wood. All right, we're gonna have plenty of charcoal for the future. I've never chopped down enough trees, but <clears throat> I wonder if you can spawn tree guards from burnt trees. I've only ever spawned them with living, chopping down living trees, though. Maybe they don't spawn if it's already burnt. I wanted to make sure that I had a campfire at all times, emergency lights. Although campfires are pretty dangerous to use in a forest like this because the trees really get in the way if you're placing one down sometimes. Why in the world is your eyes glowing? I've never seen that before. It's so weird. Is it one of my mods, I wonder? Probably is. I don't even know which one it would be to cause it <laughs> for its eyes to glow like that. <laughs> Don't worry about my model spazzing out every once in a while. I'm drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> when it can't detect your face, it starts to try to reach for anything that resembles a face.
Wait, you stop there, Wilson? Nothing to stop for. Huh? Slim is still there. I don't know what he's doing, and I don't think I can see him on the map. Nope. Okay. We'll see if we run into each other eventually. Oh, I glue for Halloween. I didn't even think about that. Good thinking, Alist. <laughs> that's honestly makes a lot more sense than one of my mods, because I've had those mods for a long time, and I've never seen them make the ice glow. Yeah, there's still a large swamp. <clears throat> <gasps> How dare you? Die. Nom, nom, nom. Don't take my flints. Hmm. Let's pick some flowers here. Get 12 for a little flower crown for Wilson. This is a queen bee biome, looks like. Flowers were responding to bees. So don't matter too much. Hmm. Get rid of your hats. Put that on Wilson. Let's go! Swamp at night. The ultimate thriller. <clears throat> Dodge those tentacles. Yoink. What do you mean? Oh! <gasps> glow mat and glow. Hmm. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize there was a female variant. <laughs> mm, nice. Yeah, found that too. Oh, shite. Huh? Watering can. Is that how you neutralize the trap? <sighs> okay, looks like we're safe. <clears throat> oh, almost died last night. God damn. You know what I am glad though? I'm glad that these characters don't uh, say the entire sentence we type. <laughs> Can you imagine spammers just type an entire line of A, 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 and then the characters just constantly making noise next to you? My god, would that be annoying. Luckily they just spit out a little trumpet sound. That's the end of that. Oh no. Wow. Hound mounts. Mm, where's my spear? Yeah, this one's gonna, uh, gonna leave us alone, so. Oops. Okay. 
gotta be more careful. I'm losing it. Losing it. Big-ass desert, what in the world? <clears throat> Trying to find the other side of the world and I haven't even hit water yet. Mm, there it is, okay. A straight line across. My goodness. How you doing, Wilson? I'm chilling. I like the flower crown I made you. <laughs> I got a almost full beer. Great insulation, though. I wonder if it's gonna get too hot before it reaches winter, though. I hope not, because I definitely don't want to shave it right before winter. Let's drop the meat, catch some butterflies for health. <laughs> but yeah, you see that health? It's because of that I never really make it far in my <laughs> worlds. <laughs> I get overzealous and I forget where my skill lies. <laughs> well, I'm glad we're in the same boat. <laughs> Perhaps we can improve together in time. And then we'll finally make it out of this constant. That Maxwell or Charlie put us into. Oh, I do wonder where the next big lore drop is gonna be though. I've been with this game from almost, since almost the beginning. Not quite the beginning, but close to it. And my god, the story is so interesting, but I need more of it. <laughs> it's been so many years. Not much new updates yet, unfortunately. Alright, let's just keep going this way. Until we make it back to spawn. Looks like we got quite lucky this time, and spawn is basically in the middle of the world, so it would be a pretty decent place to make a base. Oh, I hate these mosquitoes. Get away from me. I'm gonna try to sting a little tentacle. And often studios abandon your game after a few years. Yeah, I've definitely seen that happen before. I'm very happy to see that uh, Don't Starve was one of those that persisted on, though. It is very good, honestly. The, honestly, the only other game, or the only other creator I've seen so dedicated to their work is probably Stardew Valley. Like, Stardew Valley creator, also incredible. And what's amazing about them is that, you know, they're not a team. It's mostly from one person. It was originally from one person, but they added to their team. 
um, once they expanded their workload and <clears throat> branches. Yeah, it is, it is. And don't starve, I'm very happy with how it progressed. Like, they legit listen to player feedback and add to it, you know? They had their vision, but... Um, they also know that it's for the players as well. Okay, let's make another one. And I want to be caught out in the dark. See again. No, nope, just swapped into spider territory. What's your favorite game other than Don't Starve? Mm. Let's see. God, there's so many to choose from. I would probably say Stardew Valley. <laughs> You'll probably see that coming. <laughs> you probably already know that was what I was gonna say since that was my mention. But yeah, Stardew Valley, honestly. I got 600, close to 700 hours on that game now. I love it. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. We got buffaloes over there. I do wonder where this swarm hole leads to. Let's go test it out. We got the mushrooms and the flower crown to heal us. <laughs> yeah. I really, really enjoy like artists with a passion for their game. I believe another one I really like is called Dust and Elysium Tell. It's also a game created by one creator. Like, he did the art, he did the soundtrack, he did the coding. Fantastic. It's fantastic. I love it. It's an art. It's a passionate art. Okay. That leads to that. Let's put, uh... Let's see. There it is. Let me put the number of... Uh, numbers of traps next to these wormholes, worm, wormholes to uh, label them. Here is one trap. Wormhole number one. <laughs> yeah, I should probably start doing that. Go to the picking. And seats. I absolutely do. I love when arts and creativity flows without, you know, corporate control behind it. Those are the best kind of games. <laughs> Yay! Candy! Why is the raisins in quotation marks? Are they beans? No, beans.
Oh my god, so much gold. Oh no. It's okay. Eats Wilson eats. No, don't you dare eat my candy. Shoot. Healed us pretty considerably. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, we can just set up here then. There's no rabbits, but. Oh! Hello! Hello, hello. Finally, that's <laughs> what if this is a terrible wormhole? I just notice it's so close together. I might as well walk that distance. <laughs> a terrible wormhole. Hmm. Let me give another thing. Should I set up here? Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe that would be a better location. Because then it would at least have a bit of rabbits. This guy's already decided to... Oops! I <laughs> took a screenshot. <laughs> uh. 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 No need to use my own material then. Long gloves. Okay, here. Put them on, Wilson. I got, I got long gloves, man. Like a ice machine. I don't know where anything is. This uh, menu is so confusing. Where's where's the ice box? Ice box. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's turning dark. Okay. We're good. There you go. Excuse me? Shoo. This is not for you to take. It's my fire. Okay. This is a- Oh my god, this is a regular, regular science machine. Boo. It was so round, I thought it was an alchemy engine. <laughs> so, why is it not unlocked? It's not unlocked because it wasn't. I was tricked. I was fooled. I always build it on the left side. I think this is good enough. I don't want it to be too far from camp since I want to be able to cook at night next close enough to the fire. <coughs> Let's get the rest of the pumpkins. I remember there being a ginormous patch of pumpkins on that side. Unless the uh, other dude took it. Oh, doesn't matter as long as it's eaten. Yeah, I think he got it. It's fine. You're gonna have the giant patch of pumpkins. We got our almost two stack of gold. <laughs> right, 
Let's put these normal, <laughs> normal, you know, things down. We don't need them anymore. We can get some gold tools. Unlock it. Nah, I don't have enough wood. I don't want to be caught in the middle of a battle with a bad spear and no way to make another one. Just chop down a few more trees and make some chests because I saw a few little moles going around and it's probably going to eat my gears. You know your skin's a nihilist. <laughs> At least you knew it was a science machine and not an alchemist machine. It was so round, I was fooled by its shape. My god, cats, damn. So aggressive. I wonder if it'll get mad at me if I took that meat before we got the chance to. Maybe a few more. We got swarm for more. Oh, shite. Oh, the worst kind. I hate this. Time to scram. This is dude chopping down all the trees. I'm gonna dig up all your stumps, man. I hate, I hate these stumps. <laughs> oh, he loves you. I thought you attacked him. <laughs> Our first crook. Yay. Here's a Halloween decoration. Second one, and I'm out of rocks. And that's nice. Uh, all right, I need rocks. Well, you know, let's make some um, chests. Stuff in there. Okay. I'll take 18, he can have the rest. Let's see. Put this in there. Or you know what? We can just. <laughs> Problem solved. Make ourselves a log suit. There we go. Proper. Proper equipment. Pick skin. Let's start our new. Yeah, let's make some dry rocks. We have no grass actually. Man. Oh, it's a full moon actually. Full moon, full moon. Where was it? I thought I saw. Ah, oh, shite, I thought. It's not. Oh, oh, okay, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Panicking for no reason.
I was afraid we were gonna be really far away. But we were in fact very close. We can get Glomber. Glom Glomer? Yeah, Glomer. Tonight. <laughs> and chop by your trees down, Glomer. With the wood. Glomer. Ah, shite, I don't want to click the flower. <laughs> That's okay. Eat it. One extra health points. Now we gotta find Chester. Oh, what in the world is that? <laughs> You know what I mean. Or she. I don't know. Or both guys, virtually. It's fine. <laughs> at well. We're all at well. Who was I doing? Alright, grass, grass, grass. So I can make a rope and then uh, make a uh, drying racks. I should have went up. Oh well, whatever. Let's go to our <laughs> let's go to our pathetic tiny little patch of grass and see what we can get. Yeah, blacksmith. I wonder if the other guy can play scene two then. No, Wilson can only do act one. And butterflies. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't make that sound at me. That's a nice thing. Grass and frogs. I oh shites! I hate you, frog. You're the worst mob in game. God, my f worst season is froggy rain. I'm telling you, worst invention <laughs> ever. Why do they have to make frog rain? Huh? Why is that a thing? Okay. You need to go now, sir. No, that's not what I want to attack. Okay, well, you know what? They're both dead. It's fine. <laughs> and I'll put your <coughs> little flower wreath back on. Figure. Kingly figure sketch. <laughs> oh my god, imagine you make it and it's just Maxwell. <laughs> That'd be great. Eat it then. 
If you ain't got space, we'll see you gotta eat it. Already full inventory. It's okay. We'll just hold on to it. Die and eat your wings. And butterfly wings are so filling. Space again. Uh, I walk past it. Okay. This way, this way. And that's okay. Pick up some resources on the way. Oops. Out of room. Too. <laughs> Snow way and Nooners and out that way. I don't know what you're talking about, Bob, but I believe you. I know that they say Lunar Island's easy to locate because wherever the land is super flat. That's probably where the lunar island is, but I've never got the hang of it. <laughs> well, let's check it out once we are closer to our campfire. I thought that was the pick king for a second, but that was just a respawn point. My chest. My goodness. Got so much in here already. Alright. Pretty sure that's a meatball. Yeah, let's use up that monster meat. I should also probably. Um. What was I going to do? Did I forgot already? Probably wasn't too important. <laughs> Let's see, drying wreck. Where's drying wreck? Structures. Let's make five for now. More pumpkins. <laughs> you will make it fit. It's mm, kind of uh, sus. Uh, sussy there. 
Uh, weird choice of wording. And, uh, dude, I'm out of rocks, sorry. That's why it's so awkwardly two crock pots instead of usual three crock pots. Okay, let's put this a little bit out of the way since it's, you know, takes longer. Oops. <gasps> I've never seen that idle animation before. Or Willem Wilson, like, strokes his beard. <laughs> Adorable. seed. Okay, got four and five. Okay. okay. Crow, get the hell out of here. Butterfly, come back. Come back. I want your wings. And okay, whatever. You you get to run free today. Oh, lucky. <coughs> We're now ready to follow tracks. Now that we've got drawing Rex. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Let's see. Take... One with us. Eat a pumpkin. They're a rot, anyways. Mm. It was something important, but I don't remember what it was. What was I going to do? Oh, right, rocks. Over there, where the tall birds are. Oh right, and also berries. <gasps> uh oh, the stagehand seemed to have followed our friend home. <laughs> it's very close to base. <laughs> oh, nihility. Nih nihility, nihilist. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why your name became nihility in my brain. It's just a word that popped into my head. Die, rabbit. <laughs> yeah. I can hardly remember what I am doing from a day-to-day -day basis. It's really troubling. <laughs> I think we already explored like most of the map, but I still haven't seen him. <clears throat> and also, it's about time we start killing some spiders, because we definitely need their silk glands. Come here. Come here. I like killing them in the afternoon, because if you like fight them far enough away, then only normal spiders spawn. Drops there. Don't eat that. <laughs> ah, yeah, a lot of shikes. Eating your brethren. Oh man, the bags are full. Oh, uh, it's the wolf. The hounds abound. That's alright. We'll deal with them when they get here. Let's use that one. Use up the flint one. Oh, 
that's okay. Nihilist. I too have frequent memory issues. Oh, shite. And of course. Ah, oh, God. You ass. I don't even try to dodge this one. It's too annoying. Kill it! Kill it before it spawns more! That was a terrible spider fight. This is not my usual... swag. <laughs> not my usual swag. I'm a little better at fighting than that, I promise. It's okay if you don't believe me. I'll redeem myself eventually. Hopefully. <laughs> I am very hopeful. Oh my goodness. Even though this is a twiggy, twiggy tree world, we're still filling up on twigs so fast. No! <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> no, that's too high. Too high of an expectation. You gotta lower it a little bit. Too much for me. <laughs> Maybe not too. No. Ah, ah. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's not good. Oh, why didn't I slay them on fire? Where's so? Oh, there's three of them? Okay. Change of plans. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> Time to scram. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, a meteorite shower. Oh, the moonstone. Two moonstones. Hey, it hit the other hound. Huh. Perfect. Ah! <laughs> it is certainly an art of something. <laughs> oh, goodness. Why is daylight not coming? Help. <laughs> ah! Go away. These are some very persistent hounds, man. Fight you when daylight comes. Shoo. Shoo. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't get them to sink. Okay. Uh, uh, why did he gotta unsink? <laughs> this is not good, this is not good, not good. When did I become this bad? I promise I'm not this bad. Oh, this I just need to concentrate. What are you doing? Are you oh, you're baiting me! Oh, I've never seen a hound do that before. All kind of tricks up their sleeve now that I'm streaming the game. Really out there to <laughs> embarrass me. Hey, at least we got a new insight though. <laughs> oh. You know what? Let's get even greater insulation. We're gonna have the coziest beard in all of the constant. I can't believe they baited me like that though. I've <laughs> never seen a hound do that before. And of course, of all the times, it's gonna be when I have people watching me. <laughs> That's exactly the time when they're uh, gonna juke me out. This is the straightest line of grass I've ever seen. That is true, that is true. We're gonna have to start watching out though. Well, at least we got one spider gland. There you go. Good eight health. 
definitely makes the contents more exciting, I guess. <laughs> That's good, at least. Probably play until the beginning of winter. <laughs> and then see about what we're gonna do next time. I do hope we can get a... Oh, speaking of the devil. Yeah, one of these. Well, these are easy to kite, so I should have no problem. I mean, I don't even normally have problems with hounds, but I don't know what is up with today. They seem to have gained a brain cell. <laughs> they don't sync up their attacks, they juke me out. <laughs> uh. Even these butterflies are faster. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a warg. My luck so far is gonna be the worst trail mob. Fingers crossed. Cool elephants. No whamsies. No whammy. I've got enough today. <laughs> Why are there bats? Why are there bats? Hmm? Go away. Where did you even come from? There's no caves here. Ow! Oh, you oh, You bastards. Duh. We might lose the trail. Let's keep going. Okay, it's close. Okay. It's a koala fence, y'all. <laughs> oh, at least that's one thing that's supposed to be. pooped after it died. It was a uh, after death poo. Yeah, I'll take one last poo before it goes to heavens. I will leave your poo. Signal your area of death. This is where he died. He did what he loved as he went out of this world. spider glands. Oh, that's a tier 3 spider den. Okay. Let's mess with it. Oh, that's not a good idea. Why did you spawn? I swore it was far enough away from the spider den for you to not spawn, man. What the hell? <laughs> oh well, whatever. Let's go back to collecting grass. Won't need that much spider glands anyways. Alright, we're out here to collect juicy berries, actually. Ooh. Oh, we have seven silk already. That's good. Alright, I'm gonna have enough, enough with our string of bad luck. Let's settle down for the night. Not take any risks. Cook the seeds for health. There we go. 
William, uh, William, no, no, uh, Wilson, down to one third of his health. One third dead, but still going. I know it's so dark, so dark. <laughs> Go there, get some rocks. Oh, a two of you. Sure. Let's see. Where's all the juicy berries? There was so much when I don't want any, and now they're like. I guess that area's got a little ton. I'll go to the autumn forest for them then. They probably won't even be. <laughs> producing much by the time we make it home because it's gonna be, you know, winter, but that's fine. We'll keep it for when spring comes around. Hmm. Hmm, let's grab that teeth. Oh, there's four of them. Nice, nice. Oops. I just... Uh, I just need uh, rots, of course I did. Prison room chair, so. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> there you go, we'll like, take that. We'll take the wool in case we've run into a winter qualifants. Then we can make the warmer version. Definitely use a present right around now. Hopefully, it's not any <laughs> thing unpleasant. <laughs> oh, after today, running through the night, chased by hounds in a meteor shower. You heard anything like that? I sure haven't. And quite a wild night, wild day. Of course, it's not connected here. It's always by the skin of their teeth, and they just don't connect. <laughs> Alright, let's go dig up some berry bushes. And also get some... Well, oh, maybe we don't need that much wood, actually, but we'll dig these up. <laughs> okay. Juicy berry bushes, where are thou? I guess we can always pick some red mushrooms too for filler. Mm, there's like no juicy berries on this side. My goodness. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you right now, horseman. <laughs> uh, worse for wear. Oh, where'd my shovel go? Anyways. to get about 10 berry bushes, I would say. Since berry bushes come a long way, these ones anyways, this makes three instead of the usual one. So just 10 should be more than enough to feed a couple of people.
guess that's it for this area. Alright, to the rocky biome. Or maybe I should go home first, drop things off. How close are we to home? Quite close, but not close enough. Okay, let's just get the gold then. Well, no, not the gold, the rocks. Because that's what we need. We'll leave the gold. We'll, we'll carry as much as we can carry. We'll just that amount. <laughs> Get rocks. No idea what the moon query is. <laughs> oh, monkey Atlas. Yeah. Is that like an underground thing? I know there's monkeys underground, but. I don't think they're anywhere else on the constant in this game mod. Unless I'm wrong about it, which I could very well be. Uh, an island away from the mainland. Okay. Interesting. Oh, a pet! <gasps> Look, a rock. Ah, pirates. And I'm assuming they're not good creatures, though. Oh no. <laughs> I got greedy. No. Don't poke me, please. Okay, time to head back to base. We got just about everything we need. We don't have ten berry bushes yet, but that's fine. We'll deal with it later. Constantly getting lost. Is it? Oh, well, I guess he's in another time zone. <gasps> Blue mushrooms! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. No! Come back, Blue mushrooms! Well, it made us a little insane, but... <laughs> it's okay. I am in the Pacific, so it's about 9.40 p.m. for me, Pacific time zone. Right, let's plant these berries. But yeah, I've got a Discord um, for Twitch. Well, yeah, for the Switch accounts, I guess. If 
feel free to message me anything on there. I post pictures of my birds every once in a while. <laughs> and uh, usually stream announcements. Although sometimes I don't post stream announcements if I thought it's gonna just be playing for my own pleasure instead of anything dedicated. Got little parakeets. They are cute little yellow and blue birds. Got a very fat yellow bird and a very skinny blue bird because the yellow bird is a very aggressive female and would quite literally attack the male to, you know, <laughs> I guess, dominance. <laughs> the gay dominance. What happened if I just put like four pumpkins in here? Right to me? Oh, it doesn't matter. We just gotta use up these pumpkins right now. Hmm, no, it's full. Okay. And let's make you the shirt, bro. Uh, where's the shirt? Where's the clothing? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you know what? Actually, uh, perfect. So, silk right there. There we go. I was about to say, if I could go back out there. Wilson! No, smack the hell out of you. <laughs> oh, cockatiels. Nice, nice. I love cockatiels. They're quite a lot bigger than, well, maybe not quite a lot bigger, but they're definitely a little bigger than budgies, and a little more intelligent, too. Five days left, okay. We'll go to until there's like one day before we do or something. And just keep this on. Why did I not make it close enough to the fridge? <laughs> Where those are pumpkins? <laughs> I rotted away. Mm. It's the wrong button. Let's see. What was that? Shift. Yes. And <laughs> we can fertilize other things with it, I guess. Got our hound teeth. We can make our um, hound teeth traps. Let's make five of them for our five hound teeth. They're very good for defending against hounds. Gonna make another crock pot. That's what I was gonna do.
I'm very happy that you don't have to like cook cook the birch nuts anymore before putting in the crock pot. I remember that used to be a thing. Like you have to cook the birch nut before you can use it in the crock pot. I mean, it's not as we quite know. That's not the case anymore, so that's, that's a good one. He gifted me a lantern. How nice. I'll keep it on us. Emergency torch. And keep our wood on us. We don't need to that much gold. I also don't really need that much flints. Let's take half. A little less grass as well. So we are definitely going to collect them as we go. Maybe not that much. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Should probably go fight some spiders. Oh, the game is pausable now. Any one player is on board. It was a thick, thick forest. My goodness. Can't even see the ground. Let's see. Where's the closest spiders? Looks like they're all concentrated in the swamps. <laughs> like, all over there. Okay. To the swamps we go then. I should, I should take some food. And the ratatouille seems to be the fastest spoiling. Let's take those. Oh yes, it was very, very unforgiving. It's gotten slightly easier nowadays, which is good. Oh, something died here. And our meat now. Oh, a cat died here. That's the little cat tail. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't. Well, well, maybe except for like dragon fruits. I feel like dragon fruit was still worth it even back then for farming. But any other vegetables, not really. Not worth the effort, time, or resources. And yeah, that is true. It is definitely very nice. They made the game a lot more customizable. There's definitely something that I should. Okay, come on, let's go further away, okay? Ah, oh, shite. Still got his impatience. No need to call your head honchos on me. Come on over. I only want regular spiders in here. How did you hit me? I need to reinstall the length mod now. Come here. Come here. Yeah. 
Yeah, done. That's done. Oh, of course. Of course. Done. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, I'm out of spears. Okay. Oh, shite. I know you're supposed to dodge, like, diagonally or something, but I don't think I've ever successfully dodged diagonally from them. And hopefully I didn't wait too long. Okay. Since this is a tier 3, we can just replant it. Let's destroy it and replant it to back to a tier 1. Much safer. Silk, huh? That's fine. And leave it to grow. Mm -hmm. Kind of eating the food even when we're not really hungry because I kind of want the full sanity and health benefits from it. Oh. Alright, where's the rest of it? Okay, let's go for one more spider nest and then. Should be enough to craft whatever we need uh, throughout winter. <laughs> and if we're lucky, the swamp would take care of itself. This is so strange. How come there's no webs around it? Yeah, I see this right. Whoa! Oh, holy lag. This is not good place to lag. Spider den. Smart the spot. What in the world is this? What is a shovel? Dive shite! That's what I get for not watching where I am. Oh, we're out of shovels. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. All this. Hmm. Hmm. Pirate treasures, I guess. Oh <laughs> well, it's scram. Toy cobra. Okay. Nothing too important. From the looks of it. I got 13 silk. Not ideal, but not not too little. Got a decent amounts. But let's get a little more. Oh, blue mushroom, perfect. Let's see you done. Regain your health. Where are you, spider? Monster makes. Give me some silk. 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 There you are. I see a faint shadows. Okay. We're too far away now. 
There you are. No, shoot. Sure. Yeah, four. Yes, Wilson. It does come from a spider's butt. We got palm cone skin. If trees had toenails, I imagine it would look like this. Yeah, yeah, wild imagination, Wilson. Absolutely. Tree toenails. <laughs> Is that what it is? A buried treasure. I don't think I've ever seen one inland before. That is the first time. Oh. <laughs> Man, even the music stops. Okay, well now that's morning. Let's give the swamp another try. I want to collect just a little more silk. Cause I don't think this is going to be enough to last us through the winter. Spawns when you encounter pirates. Ah, I see, I see. Makes sense. He must have been sailing. I don't see a boat anywhere, though. I wonder where he's so sailing. What's this? Oh, it's a stick. You like a stick from getting attacked by the bush. <laughs> Let's use up the tentacle spike. Hopefully the tentacles find some more for us to... <laughs> Yay! Free materials. Oh my goodness! Okay, that is good for sanity. Thank you for the for the low tip. Yeah, that basically is filled up my entire sanity bar. Wilson was really like those banana shakes. <laughs> It's always that one. It's like we're running into the same tentacle every time. Dash, thanks. Where is it you? Where is it you? Where is it always you? Get out of here.
I think that's enough silk now. Let's get out of here. I should probably also collect a raise for a bird cage, but that's fine. Next time. I need to build my chest to really organize my inventory. <laughs> Oh, I'm so cluttered. Okay. Wonder if we'll make it home. I'll hold on to a torch just in case. Just in case we don't. Interesting. Dyer. Okay. I don't think it matches you very well, Wilson. A driftwood ore, a cutlass, Lena shakes, and pine cone scale. I'll just put in this dude's chest. I'll put it next to them. Well, I'm gonna have to drink his banana smoothies, does I, dude? I'm gonna drink your banana smoothies and bananas. From your treasury, but I'll leave the tools that you got to you. <laughs> okay, let's leave this in the chest for now. Okay, it's full that way. Never mind. Darkness. It's familiar. Is it familiar, Wilson? We'll dry those too. I think that's why you're here. I think I should eat the meatball actually. Hmm. No, I'll just put it on the floor. Since they're not really food, it's not going to be eaten. Mm. Okay. Put these on us. This can be on for... Harvest and hang meats. Yes, that's a good, good stop. <laughs> there you go. I will stop here for today. Whew. Not, not bad progress. We're semi prepared for winter. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nihilist. I hope to see you next time. I don't always play Don't Starve. I play a bunch of um, gacha games as well, but. I will definitely put a notification out the next time I play Don't Stars. <laughs> Accidental uh, screenshots, let's delete those. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Nihilist. You too. Enjoy the rest of your day and weekend if it's within your time zone. Bye bye. <laughs>